all verse rising my soul family peace to the god stars and goddesses let me tell you this what i have learned about modern day mexican women in general they all love toxic partners like mexican women by nature just have a natural feel to just go for toxic partners and it's due to like the european slave owners coming to mexico and enslaving and colonizing a lot of mexicans during slavery time right and all that slavery time that goes up to modern day slavery it caused a lot of mexican women to see a lot of soulful vibrational dark skinned melanated men as being too nice too too kind you know too lame you know they're not they're not rugged enough for them man because a lot of mexican women in general especially the ones that's in their 20s man bro a lot of these mexican women bro when you hear them talk when they just when they when they just like going off and and just hating spiritually awake dark-skinned melanated african caribbean men you could just tell that european white slave owner blood is in these mexican women a lot of mexican women always talk about their toxic partner who was like a european white guy that did them wrong didn't show no love because a lot of mexican women always talk about how they never had their father's and mother's love so a lot of Mexican women, what they do, they go to a lot of these toxic vibrational white guys and who never showed them no love. And, you know, because one female man, her name was like Days Roke, ran Like she even told me on story time, like, you know, in videos we did about um, open, open polymeric connections and also talking about the sex transfers topic that me and Days Roke had, had talked about. Days Roke. It's just spelled D-A-Z-E-R-O-Q-U-E. -E. Days Roke even told me, like, you know, her European white guy, toxic partners, never really showed her love that she was showing them. And it caused her to, like, you know, show more love and everything, right? Which is natural for a lot of Mexican women. A lot of Mexican women's dream guys are European white guys, right? Especially if the European white guy is six foot one like I am and got this slim athletic body type like I do, of course they're gonna be they're gonna be fiending for that European white guy with the quickness if he's six foot one and he's and he's athletically slim, right? You know, like these Mexican women, including like Days Roke man, like it's hard for them to like cleanse that toxic demonic spirits of their ex partners out of them. Which is why they can never really connect with spiritually awake, dark skinned, melanated men like myself. You feel me? It's just, it's just hard for them to do it. It's like when Mexican women get around these spiritually awake, dark skinned, melanated men who expose white supremacy agendas where white slave owners have fucking raped melanated slaves and did so many melanated slaves wrong to like, and it caused a lot of melanated slaves to like literally carry on that Europeans like, you know, demonic curse through sex transfers, through rape and stuff like that, right? You know, Daisy Roke knows this because she even explained it herself and when we did video topics together, right? And a lot of Mexican women, they cannot help, they cannot help but always get with toxic partners, man. It's in their bloodline, man. You go to, you go to any place that's heavily populated with a bunch of Mexican women, especially the states and the countries of Mexico, if a spiritually awake, intuitional, soulful, vibrational God star male like myself, who is a Caribbean dark skinned guy with African genes, try to show my authentic self of soulful, vibrational powers to these Mexican women, they're not going to accept me. They're going to be like, I'm too nice. I'm too kind. I'm showing too much love. You know what I'm saying? Like with Days Roke, I even told her, like, if I was to show you a lot of love, texting you all the time you probably get bored of me real quick and you'll throw me to the trash and get back with toxic partners right okay like and yeah even though days days roke had uh had sex with her roommate which i will talk about in another another time you know days roke still has the demonic transfer spirits of her toxic partners yes days roke days roca even though that Mexican woman has had sex with her roommate who said like, you know, the sex was good and all that stuff. She, she's saying he's soulful. She still has not cleansed herself from the toxic demonic partners that she has sex with in her, in, in, in her past years. Cause that's still on her because every time, but when me and Days Roker, the Mexican woman had recently talked, she was like, 
She was not hearing anything I'm saying. She was just going off on me. And that's because of the toxic partners that she has set spirits into her to cause her to go off on me. Because I already know, Daisy Roca, her ex-partners would not like me. Me and her ex-partners, me and her ex-partners, we, we both, we'll be fighting. We'll be fighting for real, you know, because Daisy Roca will actually see a soulful vibrational guy like myself versus her toxic demonic exes, you know, so... That's all I gotta say, you all, man. That man, these Mexican women, man. I wish there was a way to save them, to actually help them detach from this, this fucking bad boy European slave owner curse, where a lot of Mexican women are trained to love, love the white men and hate the dark skinned melanated men. I wish I could do something to change it, man. But it seems like the Mexican women don't want to change it themselves. But that's all I gotta say.